Hello everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese, and I thought I would do a quick little whip and chat. I am working on this little picture here. I've got quite a bit done since I worked on it last. And um, this is from Row Diamonds. I've talked about this one before, and it's a beautiful, beautiful canvas. It's round and it's got as you can see, lots of sparkle. There are AB diamonds in here. I'm going to turn my light on just so I think maybe you can see it a little better. We'll see how that works out. I haven't been on in a while. I guess it's been a week or so. I, I don't even remember. Um, let me stop and think what I'm working on here. Okay, I'm on the question marks over here, so let me continue with that. <coughs> I have um, sad news. Um, you've heard me talk about my brother quite a bit and how he had cancer. Well, he lost his battle with cancer on Christmas Eve at 1125 that night. I was with him, his wife was with him, and his youngest son, who was 17, we were all there with him. It all seemed to happen so fast. Um, he just kept going downhill, uh, and there was no stopping it. The treatments were not working. His oxygen was getting worse and worse. We tried everything we could on, um, I spent quite a bit of time with him, talking with him, and I am going to miss that so much. He told me that I comforted him, comforted him just sitting there and talking with him, and I am truly going to miss that so much. <coughs> But I wanted to make this video to let those of you who have maybe wondering where I've been and what's been going on with my brother, because I have had some of you comment, and I appreciate all of you who have asked about him and who have um, been praying for him. Oh, I can't get it. I can't do anything today. Just can't seem to get things going. Um thought I had stuff in these, but maybe not. So, yeah, um, we had him up to, at one point, 18 liters of oxygen, con continuous flow. And if you're familiar with oxygen, you know that's a heck of a lot. We had him on two oxygen tanks at one time at the house. Um, he wanted to die at home, and that is exactly what we did is we were at home with him. We um, called hospice in at that last bit. And um, that last day, and that was pretty much all he lasted. Once we called them in, he, he was, he'd been telling me he was so tired, so very tired. And you could see it. You could see he fought this cancer for so long. And, I mean, this wasn't his first bout. He had, well, he had septic shock when in 2006, which nearly killed him. He was in ICU for, let's see, two weeks at that point. I'm going to put this down here. <laughs> I can't tell what I'm doing here. And in 2010, he had um, lymphoma. And then, let me see, the last, oh, I don't know, two or three years maybe, he has had um, skin cancer off and on. He's had them removed. He's had radiation. He had chemo with his lymphoma. And 
when they had the chemo going, it busted one of the cancer tumors, and it actually put him back into septic shock again, okay? My, my poor brother has been through septic shock twice, which is uh, very, very difficult on your system. It gets into your blood. Um, I don't know if I can find one pen at all that I can use today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but, well, I do. I have, um, actually slept a little bit better. Didn't sleep great last night, but it's just, and those of you who've been through loss, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's just hard, and saying goodbye is never easy, but, I do know I will see him again one day. Um, I know where he is. I know he's healthy and he is breathing again. He's um, with his Lord and Savior, Jesus. And he knew that's where he was going. It's still hard to lose them. It's so hard. He fought and fought, and he really fought this. But, well, I, I mean, we all know that that's an eventuality we are all going to face. But the ones behind, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard. And I know several of you have faced this before. I've faced it several times in my life and no it never it's not something you get used to or that it gets easier my brother was a funny funny guy he really was he did not want a funeral service he wanted to be cremated and then he said the reason was because he said that money could be that that, that would be spent on all that could be used to feed his family and that's just the way he thought he didn't like to spend things on himself but on his family he loved his family very 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 much and um so we are going to do a celebrate celebration of his life once we get the ashes back and we get um we're just going to do it with family we decided that's the way daryl would want it and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to play some of the music he would have liked. And just talk about him. And remember how he he joked with everybody. He was one funny guy. Um, in fact, he had told both his wife and his son and two of his daughters that he wanted to be cremated he wanted his ashes put into an oil can and be taken to NASCAR. <laughs> well, I don't think that NASCAR is going to let us do that, but that's just the kind of sense of humor he had. He didn't want anybody worrying about him. He didn't want to put anybody out of their way for any reason. <coughs> But, yeah, he, uh, we do have his obituary posted at the funeral home site, which is macnutfuneralhome.com. His name was Daryl Wayne McCracken, if you choose, if you want to read something about him. But he was a great guy, and gosh, I'm going to miss him. And I already do. Hard to miss him. It yeah, and Christmas Eve, eleven twenty five was when he took his final breath and we were there and his one of his biggest fears was to die alone. And I said, Daryl, you're not gonna be alone. You're not gonna be alone. He had texted me that morning and said, not doing good because I had told him I'd been there the day before. I said, If you text me, call me if you need me for anything. He texted me that morning, Christmas Eve morning, and said, not doing too good, can't keep my oxygen up, 
and I said, I'm on my way. And I sat with him and we talked when uh, he was able to. We called hospice in and they did give him some things to help with the pain. Uh, he hadn't slept in probably two days and he was exhausted just exhausted and I sang to him when he was taking his last breath and his wife was holding him we were all hold, holding him somewhere we wanted to make sure he knew we were there and we were talking to him and his son was there and be praying for Cheryl and Connor that's his wife and youngest son that was tough and for me I I don't know I'm having a hard time making this video because it's hard to know what to, to really say um, but I do, did want you to know that that phase or that part of life is over now we're just going to remember him as fondly as we can I told Cheryl well you know being a crafty person I said with my mom uh, for her funeral what I'd done was I had gotten gone to um, the craft store and got some foam board and frames and I had got all kinds of things you use for scrapbooking and got lots of my mom's pictures and we made three or four picture frames full of pictures of her when she was younger older and I still have those my sister took one and it was something that we could do you know you feel just totally helpless um, and you want to stay busy so I told Cheryl let's let's do that and she seemed like she, she wanted to do that and we thought we could take that no excuse me that might I don't know who that was but I turned it off turned it off sorry about that I forgot I left my phone in here I think I left it in here in case um Cheryl's called me a couple times today um, trying to get some arrangements and things figured out. But yeah, it was something that we could do when my mom passed. Um, my dad, he died so quickly. He had a heart attack and that was really fast and we, we had to get the funeral on the way. It, it was just um, really done quick you just never know and that's why I have been ending my videos with tell tell the people around you and the people that you love tell them you love them and if you're having an argument with someone or a disagreement make up with it. It, it it don't have any hard feelings I know it's hard to do that but I feel like it's something that needs to be done just to have peace within yourself if something does happen God forbid anything happens to any one of you but we know that that things are gonna happen that's, that's part of life but tell the people you tell your your loved ones you love them that's that's so important so very important <coughs> excuse me let me see um, okay someone sent me a text I have no idea I'll have to ask them who they are um, boy I, I'm sorry this is so disjointed and I'm not even sure if how this is going to come out. But I'm not going to do this for very long. I did want to say I do have quite a few videos I do need to make. Um, I was going to my brother's a lot at this, the end 
a bunch. Um, he he told me I comforted him, and boy, I was going to be there to comfort him all I could. That was so important for me to to do for him. And boy, I enjoyed it. I really did talking. <coughs> so, I'm going to talk about something else. I, um, I just wanted to let you know. And if I seemed a little bit wistful or kind of uh, not able to keep my mind on track, that's kind of the, one of the reasons my sleeping has been a little weird. I slept a lot over the weekend, and then last night I couldn't sleep, so who knows. I will probably sleep good tonight, but I do have quite a few videos to make. I have purchases I've made. I've had um, some things that have been sent to me that I want to show. So I have quite a few. So you may be seeing a bunch of them popping up. Um, and I hope that you will stick with me. And I, I also, for those of you who have hung on this long... I cannot believe I've gone over 7,000 subscribers. I am just shocked. And just thank all of you out there who are supporting me. But I am going to be having some giveaways coming up. And I'm not going to just put in the title 7,000 good uh, subscriber giveaways. Because I'm going to give different types of things away. And it may not all be in the same video. So just, just keep, you know... Because I want to give this to people who actually watch me and don't subscribe to me just to just to get something. I mean, I enjoy giving things, but it'd be nice, you know, to have you here with me watching me too. Because I sure do love to get comments from you guys. You have brought me through a lot of this with my brother. Um, just by your comments and by saying you're thinking of me, I've had some of you send me emails thank you so much you are so dear to my heart you you have no idea other youtubers can tell you the same thing you mean more than what you even think um because without you i'd be just sitting here talking to myself well i am talking to myself but it feels like um that somebody is really there. <laughs> that may sound kind of weird, but that's how it feels. It feels like I am really talking to somebody, and um, you're listening to me like right now. And I just feel like I have you right here with me. And that makes me so happy to be able to have you guys out there supporting me and um, telling me the things that you do and you don't like about my my um, videos because I everybody messes up, you know. I don't I'm not gonna claim that I know what what I'm talking about all the time. I I like to try new things out, and I did want to say that I do really like. I did a video with Liquitex triple thick and UV resin let me tell you something that Liquitex is fabulous I want to show you the notebook that I did it is still perfect you can bend it it's really nice I really am liking the triple thick let me show you what happened to the triple thick the liquid that was the Liquitex. This one, I don't know if you can see the cracks, but it did crack when I bent it to open it. It did make cracks in there like glue would do. Now, if you didn't have a background and we're just putting it on the drills, that's not gonna be a problem. Like if you're just putting it on keychains, but on this, it just it just cracked this area here. And it made it a little bit too shiny. And someone else was saying, and I have to agree, this this makes take kind of, um, someone said it makes it look cheaper, like vinyl, but it, it depends on the look that you're going for. I, I do like that this was the soft UV resin, 
But I think I really do like this Liquitex. And I've got that in my Amazon store so that you can find it easily. And uh, these little, I've been picking at them. <laughs> they hadn't come off. But it's really nice. I am so happy with the Liquitex. This is probably my favorite one of all. Now for my pencil cases, this would probably work good too. But I, I do like the UV resin also for that hard type thing it can give the the more of a shine but I wanted to bring that up while I had you on here whoops put that in the wrong place just pick that sucker off I can't tell the difference between a question mark and a T I suppose I do not know yeah but anyway I do have I've things I've already purchased in plans for my giveaway of course Hadn't had a chance to really talk about it, but that's going to be coming up in some of my upcoming videos, and you're not going to never you're not going to know which one it might be. <laughs> so keep on watching. I need you. I love to hear from you. I love to know you're out there, and and please give me likes. When you give, or dislikes, if you don't like what I'm talking about. When I get the likes, it does help other people find my videos. So, if they're interested in something I'm talking about, they can pop in. If you haven't subscribed and <clears throat> you'd like to, please do. I'd love to have you. It's It just makes things... I'll put it this way. It makes me feel better to know that people are liking what I'm doing. It makes me want to keep going, make keep doing these things. Um, when you don't have anyone watching or, you know, people don't like what you're doing, you can get you kind of in the dumps. But lately, I have really been so happy to hear from different ones of you that have taken the time sometimes to email me and leave me a comment below. I really appreciate it. I know some of you watch on TV and you can't make comments and then you forget because I do the same thing. It's, um, you, you just can't do those things. But if you're watching on your phone or your computer or whatever, please give me a like and Give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Well, I guess that wasn't a T. I think it was a question mark because I'm still going after it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the the old allergies are back again. And this weather is, we're going from hot to cold. On Christmas Day, we were wearing short sleeves here in Texas. It was warm. So, of course, it didn't feel like Christmas anyway with what happened, but that's okay. Um, the kids, they, they still celebrated their, in their homes, and I stayed on for a few days with Cheryl and Connor, and we had different people coming in, and so I hope that you had a good Christmas, and that maybe you got to see family members. To me, that's the fun, most fun part is being able to see family. Um, friends, whatever. And I know some of you might have been alone at Christmas. And I saw that they had, there were some that had done, got together and done some videos for over Christmas. I can't remember. There were several YouTube, um, diamond painting YouTubers that did it. I didn't know anything about it, but um, I'm not sure who got it together, but that was a great thing for those of you who were by yourself and you had somebody to interact with and talk with around the clock. Different so that wherever you were in the world, you'd have somebody to talk to. I... I'm going to try doing a premiere one of these days, and I've had several ask me to do lives again, and I am thinking about that again now that things have kind of 
Um, things are have changed a little bit, and I might have a little more time. Let me see. I think I've got all my question marks done. But you can kind of see the little girl here. Isn't she cute? Let me see the little bit of the top part. Let me... Let's see if I can... Here we are. This really is a nice canvas to work on. Oh, that's a, another small piece. This is... I forget. It's cut up into different strips. But isn't it cute? She's so cute. This was um, done, uh, oh shoot, I forget her name, but if you go on their website, it says who drew the artist that did the image. She uses a lot of people that um, are maybe beginning artists and things, so this is so cute. I do have another one of their things coming, a couple of items that I've ordered from their shop, because I, I have really been enjoying this canvas. I can never get it back down straight, but that's okay. It ain't gonna hurt anything. Um, I can't see any more question marks right now. There may be another one, but that's okay. I'll get it later. So I'm gonna, what I do, I'm just working from the bags. Sometimes I kid up, but something like this, the bags are perfect. And I put a piece of paper down before I pour my drills back and forth, just in case, because I can make a mess and this is silicone paper and you can find this on Amazon and it is better than the parchment paper I, I said mentioned it to someone who asked they were saying the parchment paper didn't work and yeah sometimes the parchment paper is not as good as some of the others and it, it makes it look like sometimes it's soaking some of that stuff up i don't know if it is or not but this the silicone paper just type in silicone paper on amazon i'll try to remember to link it in my amazon shop um well, the one i found had 250 sheets i believe in it so that was a lot i don't know if you can find a smaller one, smaller one or not but you could find somebody else maybe that would um share with you or something. Okay, I'm going to do the bees now. I guess I am going to talk a little bit longer. I'm kind of getting in the mood and talking to you guys. I have missed you. Man, have I missed you guys. Um, as I was saying, I have a lot of things to show. Yeah, I have stuff I need to... <laughs> open up and show you because it's, they're all bunched up bundled up here in my craft room and I can hardly get around so anyway this is a really even though it is a um, double-sided tape it's not like that real stiff stuff it um it I really am enjoying working with it, like I said. And this time, I went ahead and purchased one, and they had one that I'm, one that I'm getting, and it's got sparklers in it, like you know the diamond painting with sparklers Facebook page. Well, this one's got sparklers in, already in and um, already designed into the picture so I'm excited to see where they put theirs kind of give me an idea where I might want to put my sparklers if you didn't see my video I, got, I ordered a whole lot of sparklers yeah I did and they're beautiful I haven't had a chance to use them of course but that I hope will be something I can get into soon I need to get show you several things and some of the things I have ordered um, I'll be giving some of the things in the in that order as part of my giveaway so just keep an eye out for different things I'm not like I said I'm not gonna write giveaway in my title because I didn't end up getting people who just will subscribe to get a giveaway and I want my 
faithful people who, who watch me. I like for you to win giveaways because I just like to try to give you something. I like to, I like to, to give things to people. It makes me happy. So, I don't have a whole lot more to say. Uh, I think I'm going to just, I think I'm just going to call it, um, call it a video at this point in time, as I'm kind of tired and really can't think of anything else I want to talk about. Let me turn this off and see if you can see. I don't know if you can see that any better. I don't think it shows up any better. But it is so cute. It really is. And boy, do these sparkle. I hope you can see the sparkle in this. Go check them out. I said they're um, paintbydiamond.co.uk. I can put a link down below. They have latch hook latch hook kits there also i used to do latch hook um kits i used to love doing those and boy just what i need is another <laughs> craft pull out i still have a beaded cross stitch kit that i haven't shown you yet that i need to pull out so i'm going to bid you adieu at this time and i want to leave you with this remember to tell your loved ones that you love them and guys, I just want to tell you that I do love you. I appreciate you so much. And if you've hung around to the end, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye.